A very good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back to Bobst and welcome to another very exciting presentation. So come closer if you, if you wish to attend. There's a lot to see, there's a lot to discover, and there's a lot to wonder. So as said, this presentation is exciting, and it is exciting because I'm about to show you the next level of printing. I'm about to show you the new Master DM5 by Bobst. Why is it the next level of printing? It's simple, because this very machine combines many different printing processes, printing technologies in one machine, and each and every one of these processes is digitally controlled, allowing, first of all, multi-process printing, and second, automatic, fast, and reliable job changeovers on the fly, meaning, in the end, a constant uptime. Let's have a closer look at the machine. Let's start with this dark gray box right behind me. This is our digital inkjet printing unit. It's coming from Movent, which is uh, our digital competence center inside the Bob's group. It's compact, it's easy to access, and it contains some revolutionary concepts, one of those being this guy like here. This is the famous Movent cluster printing head. Look how compact this is. And despite its compact size, it's highly efficient. It can print with a resolution of 1200 DPIs and with a speed of up to 100 meters per minute. And by the way, if you would like to convince yourselves of the quality that this cluster can provide, then feel free to contact our move and staff members after our presentation. But let's start printing now, and we will do it at 80 meters per minute, and let's continue our closer look at our machine. So we have two digital flexo units for spot colors. We have our digital inkjet unit, then we have another digital flexo unit for a special effect for cold foil application. Then we have the last digital flexo unit for uh, varnishing. Then we have a very cool die cutting unit. And in the end, or at the end of the machine, we have a waste stripping unit. Now I'd like you to put your attention on the register marks on the screen up there. You see these marks are not moving. And while you're realizing that it's not moving, I'd like to remind you that you're not looking just at one register mark, but you are looking at 10 perfectly overlapping register marks. Why 10? Easy. Two flexo plus six digital inkjet plus another two flexo equals 10. 10 constantly, perfectly overlapping register marks on the Master DM5. Well, how is that possible? You probably already know them. We've seen them on other machines. But it's thanks to these gray boxes here. These guys are the so-called print tutor cameras. I'm sure you've already heard them. What, does this, what do these cameras do? Well, they constantly analyze what is being printed. They send the data to the system. And the system then evaluates the data and constantly adjusts pressure and register in complete automation without any further intervention of the operator. Now let's take a look at what we are printing. Right now we are printing this. It's a multi-process label, beautiful label with Pantone colors, with inkjet colors, with a special effect, a uh, cold foil and a special varnishing. And we will then perform a job change. We will print this label. Not only different graphics, but also a different shape. Let's talk about pros and cons. Let's talk about advantages and possible disadvantages of such a machine that can also be called a hybrid machine as it hosts different processes. Well, the advantages are obvious. You have multi-process printing with one machine. A possible disadvantage, 
could be that if you have one process that is significantly slower than all the others, well, that would slow down the entire machine, the entire printing process. But not on this machine. Because on this machine, or this machine itself, has been especially conceived to reduce or even neutralize such situations, such bottlenecks. An example, Flexo. When you do a job change in Flexo, you usually have to stop the machine, take out the cylinder, put in a new cylinder, set register, set pressure. It will be first bottleneck, but not on this machine. This machine performs automatic bottle, uh, sorry, automatic job changes. So bottleneck one is neutralized. The second bottleneck would be the die cutting. This machine, as Muat is showing, can automatically change the flexible die. No need to stop the machine. So bottleneck number two neutralized. The third and last bottleneck would be the waste stripping unit. Usually, you have to cut manually the web and then reattach it to the winder and so far and so on. Well, guess what? This machine performs this task automatically without needing the um, operator to intervene. OK, enough talking. Let's demonstrate this to you. So we start to load the new job into the machine. And you will notice that we are not stopping the machine. We just slowing it a little bit down. So Muat and Vito are putting the new cylinders inside the machine. As mentioned, this bottleneck doesn't exist as we are not stopping the machine. Then the same principle applies to the die cutting unit. We will see now how Muat, OK, he has only insert, already inserted it, sorry. And uh, so now we are about to initiate the job change. Everything is going to happen rather quickly, so please follow me. We start from unit number one, and then we will move from unit to unit to unit. You will see how job number one will be taken out, and job number two we will put in place. So Muat, if you're ready, three, two, one, go. So take a look at this. Job number one is taken out. Job number two is put in place. Then the new substrate or the newly printed substrate continues and ar arrives to unit number two. What happens? Job number one out, job number two in. Then the substrate with the new job on it moves into the digital inkjet unit. What does this do? Well, it just stops printing job number one and switches to job number two without waste, without anything, as it is a digital inkjet. Then, after a couple of seconds, when the new, I call it the new substrate, but in fact it's the substrate with the new job on, on, on it being printed, arrives to this unit, we will see the same thing. Job number one will be taken out, and job number two will be put in place. Okay, now it's white, so it's a matter of one or two seconds. Here it comes. Job one out, job two in. And now, the varnishing unit. Same principle. As soon as the new substrate arrives, there it goes, job one out, job two in. Now my favorite part, the changing of the uh, flexible die. You will see how the machine will take out the flexible die of job number one and replace it with the one of job number two. Let's do it. I personally like this the most. Check this out. Job number one is taken out. Job number two is put in place and ready to die cut. Everything is done in complete automation without any intervention of the operator. And finally, once the new substrate arrives at the waste stripping unit, we will attach it automatically to the winder. Check this out. First of all, it, the web is cut. And then it's attached. And it's happening exactly now. So let me summarize what we have just seen. We have seen a complete job changeover of each and every process inside of this very machine. It was automatic. We didn't have to stop the machine. We can have constant uptime. Now, if we reaccelerate the machine, we can once again turn our attention onto the register marks and you will see that within a couple of seconds, they will perfectly overlap. And I remind you again, it's not just one register mark, it's 10 different marks 
perfectly and automatically overlapping thanks to the job of the print shooter cameras. So before we come to the end, there's another innovation I would like to talk about. It is the big gray box at the end of the machine. Well, this is the Bob's IQ 500. This is a high-end inspection system specifically developed for inspecting multiprocess jobs. So it inspects the substrate, the printing, the special effects, the tactile effects, everything. And it detects even the smallest defects for total control. Ladies and gentlemen, with the Master DM5, each and every process is digitally controlled. This is the Bobst Digital Automation. This is the Bobst Master DM5. Well, that's it for this presentation. For any questions, our sales staff is happy to help. Thanks a lot for your attention. My name is Pietro, and I see you in a little less than 30 minutes for our next presentation. Enjoy the day here at Bob's. Thank you very much.